name is Thomas Malaby. I'm a professor of anthropology uh, here at UWM. So my research on a day-to-day -day basis is to look at where games pop up uh, in and around our digital lives. For example, Google uses a game to label all of their images. And uh, that includes also the great news of the game Folded. And people who are really good at spatial reasoning can play this game and actually discover new combinations and uh, folds of proteins that can be used, in this case, for antiretroviral uh, vaccines. Games like World of Warcraft are extraordinarily popular. People generate things that are worth money in World of Warcraft. And in doing so, they create an economy. They create demand. People want those characters. They want those items. They want the things of value within them. I think the interesting thing is that every day there's less and less of a difference between the gaming that we think of as set apart. Someone sets down to play a game and we think of it as not having any other consequences. And the games we play as we do work, as we help out a project like Fold It, or play a game for Google. So just like a commercial game gets people to play it, uh, something they look forward to and make time for, so also these games enlist our participation because we like them. They're, they're enjoyable, or at least they command our attention and we find them compelling.